Alexa, tell me about the Amazon Echo. Amazon Echo is a device designed around your voice that can provide information, music, news, weather, and more. Okay, cool. Science fiction has become a reality thanks to companies like Amazon and Google with the introduction of the Amazon Echo and Google Home. Now, with the help of these media technologies, you can play music, update your calendar, find out how many teaspoons are in a tablespoon, Call a friend, check the weather, or even order laundry detergent without even pressing a button. The Amazon Echo and Google Home utilize the internet to gather information for its user and meet their individual needs when spoken to. This technology is not exactly new, however. Apple's Siri was one of the first big breaks on this technology. Microsoft's Xbox and later their Cortana... Hi, I'm Cortana. Google and Android with OK Google, and now Amazon with Alexa, now populate this media technology. Before Amazon Echo and Google Home existed, speaking to your artificially intelligent devices was fairly commonplace. As previously mentioned, Apple introduced Siri with their own iPhone early in the 2010s. This technology, while fairly new and unpolished at the time, was simply an exciting new addition to their previously successful product. Siri, a still huge part of almost any phone Apple releases today, just as OK Google is a huge part of Android phones. Microsoft's Cortana goes along with Windows on PCs. While some users utilize this function more than others, it still isn't the primary function of a Windows Microsoft computer. So why take something that consumers already have access to as a secondary function on many of their devices and separate it into its own device? Besides the obvious answer of media corporations making great sums of money off these products, the answer is time. Our perception of time is modified by the immediacy of communication technologies according to Croteau and Hoynes. Looking closer at many of the advertisements for both Google Home and Amazon Echo, the users are always preoccupied when speaking to Alexa or Google, whether that's cooking, folding laundry, or packing a lunch. A selling point appears to be that Alexa and Google are always listening. As soon as the words Alexa or Hey Google are said nearby, it is ready to respond. In a world where every second counts, it helps to have someone, or in this case something, always on standby, ready to answer any question or help out in any way possible. Because of this step towards an even more convenient way to communicate with others, this new media technology is further developing our relationship to the internet and our social life. Users can instantaneously send a message to a friend or tweet about something that is on their mind without even picking up a phone or logging into a computer. According to Croteau and Hoynes, new media give users the opportunity for more control and more choice, which can lead to increased content diversity and a shift of power from media corporations to users. The Amazon Echo and Google Home are also technologies that one could potentially have full spoken conversations with. In the future, we could see a further shift away from direct social interaction and a closer relationship with technology and the interactions based around it. The Amazon Echo and Google Home may just be a product of technological advances and the pursuit of capitalism, but the way it can shift the social life of individuals is important to discuss. These technologies are redefining the way users live their lives both socially and organizationally into a less direct, more connected sort of way.